Just another day in paradise, eh? Got a day off, so I'm up the garage. I'm gonna attempt to start my rear struts. Have a little sweep up first. Do 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 do. Just grab my broom. Do 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 do. Have a little sweep. Do oh. Do 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 do. Jeff. No. Jeff, leave it. Do 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 do. He hates the broom so much. What's the broom done to you? Oi. <laughs> Can you leave the broom alone, please? Look at this for a whole saw. <whistles> Big boy. What's for this? Girth monster. Look at that. This is what I'm going to make my rear, rear turrets out of. Um, firstly, I need to drag it out and get some lower arms and stuff back on it. really see my diff mount from this angle. Oh, I've got to get the diff off, it leaks oil. Actually, you know what, I lied, I'm going to do it this way up. I need the diff in because I'm going to put a lower arm on uh, and a shaft and then I need to know the distance back from the shaft the strut's got to go. The shaft wouldn't go in, so I just air hammered it in. These shafts are just mocking up. I'm going to get brand new ones before I start, so. Uh, that's that. Jeff was a great helper and just absolutely barked at me the whole time. He's a good boy, really. Um, the shaft's in. Plenty of room for activities. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to be... What? Shush, come on, on your bed, on your bed. Good boy, sit there. Good boy, sit down. You got a hippo. Um, then I'm gonna be at that ride height. So loads of room for the shafts to move. Right now I'm gonna bolt on a lower arm, uh, lower arm, a uh, strut, and see where it lands up. Up. Right. So. I bolted it on. Stop. Okay, let's try again. So, got it bolted on. So, that gives me that way because this bush doesn't really flex left or right. And then, sort of limited for space here, but I can chop all of this out up high and up there so I'll have plenty of room for the spring um, and they tilt slightly back just on the on a compact anyway so I think that's where I'm gonna go so what I'm gonna do is mark that and pilot drill that little hole up there and I can hole saw it 
and mimic it on the other side. There we go. Let's give that a pilot drill. So I have to get the old die grinder out and just sort of work away until it slots in nice. But yeah, go there, let's track this up. So you get the idea that they're gonna sit like that. that five inch steel tube round. I'm gonna use the three inch plate that I used on all this stuff to make a lid. And then around the hole of the adjuster bit, I'll do another bit of tube and some gussets. So I'm a bit stuck for today now. I'm waiting for Stuart. He's got me a true coilover conversion for these HSDs. Um, so I don't know how high to do the tube because I don't know how the, how far the spring sits and everything. So I'm going to call that a day for today, but I'm going to chuck a wheel and I want to see what it looks like. The wheel I'm going to use on the car, 15 by seven, just a standard BMW wheel. Um, and this size tire, is uh, I just nicked this at the scrap pile. This is the same size as the control tire for Compact Cup Race Series, so I think it's a, not a bad size. I'd, there's a 1955-5015. They do go to a 1854-5015, but I think that looks all right. I think that looks all right. Doesn't look too chunky. Obviously, I need a disc on so the wheel sits properly, but you get the idea. Just simple, I'm gonna keep this car really simple now. Right, so I've had enough for today. Um, put it back over there. You'll notice that the compact's gone. I sold it the other day. A uh, very nice chap bought it, very sound fella. Oh baby. So it's an Axminster model engineer's bandsaw. Very nice. Um, just needs a clean. And it cuts things like this very, very nicely. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you in a few days. Peace. Right. It's two days later. Um, I went to Streatham Tires yesterday. Best tire shop in South London. They helped me with a lovely set of tires for these wheels. They are uh, Toyo Proxy T1Rs. And I went with the 195 5015, which is the compact cup control size. So I know then 
if um, these fit under the arches properly, then I can go get the Nankang AR1s, whatever they use for their combat cut for my track tyres. But these will do for now. I'd love to buy a really expensive, nice set of wheels, but I can't afford it. So these will have to do. I actually quite like the look of them. I'm going to paint paint the caps silver um, and go from there. So a uh, little update and then we've got a side quest. Side quest. Um, we ordered this off of uh, eBay. It's a E90 lower steering shaft. Um, so my plan is use half of that half of that side weld them together in a little converter thing I make on my lathe and TIG weld it all up and job done so I just need to check whether that is a oh, 17 by 54 spline because BM use their own they use their own size Let me put the camera down. Okay, so there she is. Um, thinking this is the end that's going to need to go on. So I took a complete guess on this one. It was only a uh, for 14 quid delivered. So, anyway, let's cut this open and see if we can split it in half. Oh. Okay. I thought this was a, a shaft in a shaft. So a lot of steer, lower steering columns are like a skinny rod with a big rod and they can you know um, articulate in and out I don't know if that's the right word but that's of this bellowed part is obviously just the crumple zone but that's fine because this is the side I need to use um, ooh, how am I going to do this I'm going to neatly cut off this lip then I'm going to machine a, a solid part and then somehow okay so I went and found my Toyota so this is Toyota side this was Ford side and then uh, not me this is well beyond me even owning a welder um, someone machined me up this converter put the two sides in and TIG welded it up so that worked a treat so I'm thinking do I either use a bit of that like 30 mil steel I've got lave up a bung well, weld it to that bore a hole and then weld that in to that should I utilise the E36 side with the crumple zone? Right, so I just dragged the car out and um, I looked at this one and uh, I basically can't use that one. So what you can see this is the, so this has got about an inch, so that's used for um, and put it all the way in and then get this side on so you see what I've got to join together it worked previously with the escort rack so there's no reason why it won't work again yeah, I'm really pleased with that that's quite a nice simple solution all it costs 14 quid and a few bits bits of metal stock um, trouble is you need a lathe and a TIG welder but whatever Right, so I've been busy on the lathe and I've made uh, this. That fits in there nice. And then 
I've still got to cut this to length. That fits in there. So that'll be my steering column. So nice TIG weld around there. Nice TIG weld around there. I don't really take my time on this one. So yeah, let me show you the uh, finished product. There she is. I'll take words up. Let me try and get a little clip of it. Perfect. That was uh, not as bad as I thought that was going to be, but um, it's another job ticked off the list. And now I'm still waiting on the true coilover conversions because I don't know how high to make this yet until I build the rear rear struts up and then I can work out the height of that. So I'm going to call this video a nice bit of a mix and match, but nothing I can do. And the next one I'll get them finished. And then once they're done, I can put the whole suspension on and I can drop it on the floor. Peace. Okay, I lied. I had to just test it out. So I need a bump stop there because it's hitting the cross member. That's quite a bit of lock. I think that looks all right. I think that looks all right. Anyway, actually, peace this time.